It's been said that every 15 seconds, one of these little screw-in drywall anchors is failing somewhere in the world. 90% of the time, it is due to people not putting them in correctly. So I'm gonna show you how to put them in the right way. If you have one that's already pulled out of the wall, I'll show you how to fix that quickly. Most importantly, if you're looking for one of these anchors, even though they all look alike, there is a certain type that is actually twice as strong. And when you're installing these anchors and where people go wrong is under no circumstances can you over tighten them. Even a quarter turn, half turn, that's gonna be enough to crush and strip out all that nice drywall that was holding the anchor in place. You're gonna cut down the holding power by half or worse. So when you install them, use a hand screwdriver. An impact driver or a drill is gonna be a surefire way to over tighten them, unless you are an absolute power tool guru. Even then, you're playing with fire. Use a hand screwdriver and snug it up just till it's snug and no further. But where most people get tripped up, including myself, is using the wrong type of screw for these anchors. If you can, use the ones that come in the package. Those are gonna fit perfectly. If you end up using a different screw, be very careful that the threads on there are not too coarse and wide for the anchor. Even if you have a number eight anchor and you get a number eight wood screw, a lot of times those the uh, threads on the wood screw are going to be too big. As you're putting the screw in, you're going to notice that the anchor is going to twist just that quarter half turn and completely compromise the holding power of that anchor. But if you do end up with one of these holes where you've compromised it, it's wrecked, something's pulled off of the wall, the easiest way to fix that is with one of these flip out toggle bolts. The flip out toggle bolt is going to fit right in this existing gaping hole. Shove it in there. Listen for the little sound for the little toggles to flip out. If you don't hear that flip out sound, try and try again. If you go and tighten this without them flipping out, it's just gonna pull out, it's very frustrating. Hear the sound, tighten up the bolt. The flip out toggle bolt is gonna be a lot stronger than any of the screw and anchors. They're a bit more difficult to use, so if you can use the screw and anchor properly, that's gonna be the easiest way to go. And then finally, if you need to get some drywall anchors, make sure you look for the ones that split apart and cock over to the side when you insert the screw. If you can't find them out in the wild, I will put links in the description. You can get them off Amazon. What ends up happening with that there, that extra little bit of resistance on the back of the drywall is going to offer a lot more holding power than just the regular ones where the screw just kind of pokes straight out the bottom. And hey, if you've ever struggled with any caulking around the house, go ahead and check out this video right over here. It's pretty good. I made it. It's a lot of people will watch that one.